The Context. The Context, tonight from 8pm on BBC News and iPlayer. Live from London, this is BBC News. The Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky arrives in Jeddah for the Arab League summit. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad will also address the meeting for the first time in more than a decade. Leaders of the G7 countries vow to starve the Russian war machine with new sanctions on the first day of this summit in Hiroshima. The brother of the British television presenter Philip Schofield has been jailed for 12 years for sexually abusing a boy. And police in Australia order an independent inquiry after officers tasered a 95-year-old care home resident with dementia. Hello to you, very warm welcome. I'm Ben Thompson and we start with news within the last hour and in Jeddah where Ukraine's President Zelensky has arrived on an unannounced visit at an Arab League summit that is just getting underway. He tweeted that he wanted to enhance Ukraine's ties with the Arab world and take cooperation with the Saudis to a new level. Well, also at the summit is the Syrian President Bashar al-Assad making his first appearance there in more than 12 years. That, of course, after Syria was thrown out of the group in response to the suppression of pro-democracy protests and a prolonged civil war. He arrived in the country last night. Uh, so just to say, we're going to speak to our correspondent who is there at 